Hello and welcome to HW News. The Indian Council of Medical Research has decided to fast track the coronavirus vaccine launch. It has partnered with Bharat Biotech which has developed the vaccine for coronavirus which is known as Covaxin. Now this vaccine according to ICMR will have a launch date of August 15, 2020. That's a little more than a month from now. A letter was written by ICMR Chief Balram Bhargava listing the names of 12 hospitals which have been selected for clinical trial sites. The letter stated that the clinical trial sites are strictly advised to fast track all the approvals needed to ensure that subject enrollment is initiated no later than July 7th. Not only that, it also said that non-compliance will be taken very seriously. The recently developed coronavirus vaccine has got the approval for human trials by the Drug Controller General of India. Therefore, human trials are scheduled to happen in July. A day after securing the approval, Bharat Biotech MD Mr. Krishna Ella said that the results will be out by October 2020, which means that the vaccine human trials will take at least 100 more days. But the ICMR has set a very ambitious target of August 15th for the launch of the vaccine and July 7th as the date when the subject recruitment begins. Many hospitals who are included in the list of clinical trial sites have flagged that the time span given for subject recruitment is very short. They need to wait for the ethics committee approval. Moreover, they first need to find subjects fit for the trials. On the other hand, several experts and scientists look pretty surprised by the claim of ICMR. After many raised doubts about the timeline of the vaccine launch, ICMR said that its process is exactly in accordance with the globally accepted norms to fast track the vaccine development for diseases of pandemic potential wherein human and animal trials can continue in parallel. In this video today, we are going to talk to expert and understand from them whether the deadline of August 15 is indeed realistic or is ICMR's target too ambitious. Joining us to discuss that is India's renowned virologist Dr. Shahid Jamil. He is CEO of Welcome Trust and DBT India Alliance. So welcome to HW News. My first question is before we get into the question of how practical or realistic is the deadline set by ICMR for the vaccine launch. Tell us what exactly is the procedure for vaccine development and launch and what is the standard time period for the process? All right. Uh, so vaccine starts uh, in a lab uh, and it starts as a candidate. Hmm. Uh, in the lab it is developed and once uh, tests are finished in the lab, uh, they usually go out to a company uh, and the company is has the capacity to do two things. One is to produce very large amounts of the material and two to produce the material at what we call good manufacturing practice quality or GMP quality. Uh, that is required before a vaccine candidate can be tested in animals and later in humans. The animal process is called the preclinical phase where the vaccine is given to animals to first look at the toxicity in animals and then uh, the immune response in animals is tested. Once that data is available, that data is uh, forwarded to the regulator and in the case of India, it is uh, the Director General of uh, uh, DGCI, DCGI yes. direct, hmm. uh, uh, it, it has to approve the, uh, the results and agree to a trial in humans. Now the human trial is carried out in three phases. Phase one is typically a safety trial, which is carried on in a small number of volunteers. And that could be typically 10 to 20. Sometimes you can have more like 30 to 40, hmm. uh, but it's a small uh, and it's carried out in healthy people who otherwise don't have any other comorbidities. So if, for example, you have somebody who has heart disease or lung disease or diabetic, it's not advisable to do a safety trial in those people. Hmm. Uh, now, once the safety trial results are out, uh, where typically you give the vaccine one or two shots uh, to uh, the volunteer, watch them for a couple of weeks, and if they show no adverse effects, then uh, you present that data to the regulator who gives you clearance for 
phase two trial. Phase two trial, you have already established that the vaccine is safe in a small population. So then you test in a larger population. And this is typically in the hundreds where you do two things. Firstly, you test safety in a larger, more diverse population because eventually the vaccine will be given to the public and it will be a diverse population. Uh, so you make sure that you have both men and women, you make sure that you have different ages, you make sure that, you know, there are people from different socioeconomic strata, you know, all of that diverse. The second thing a phase two does is to set the dose and schedule. How much vaccine should you give? Should you give, uh, uh, you know, five microgram or 10 microgram or 50 microgram? How many injections you should give? One is enough or two or three, you know, how far apart. So the dose and schedule is determined in phase two. Once the phase two results are out, then you again present it to the regulator and the regulator will look at it and give you permission for phase three. Hmm. Uh, phase three is a large trial. Typically thousands of people are involved in phase three and you randomize people, half of them get the vaccine and half of them get a placebo. And you let them uh, get exposed naturally. You're not actually giving them any virus, mm. but if they're living in an area where the virus is circulating, they will naturally get the virus. Uh, and then after a longish period, you determine how many got infected in the vaccine group compared to the placebo group. And if a sufficiently large number of people in the placebo group get infected, whereas very few get infected in the vaccine group, then you say that the vaccine is working. It's efficacious. Hmm. So that is the pipeline. That's the process of how a vaccine goes from a lab into, from cl into preclinical development into clinical development. After phase three results are presented to the regulator, the regulator approves or, you know, rejects the vaccine. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's the process. Okay. So what, what is the time frame for this? Uh, uh, what is the time frame for this process? Because uh, uh, I remember the SARS uh, vaccine took almost 20 months to develop. Yes, it does take time uh, because all of the processes take time uh, and you know in, in phase one you have to look at safety I mean you can't mm -hmm. give an injection today and say tomorrow that you know this person doesn't have any adverse effects so I can I can go on Correct. you must watch for at least one to two weeks mm -hmm. okay. phase two you have to decide the dose and schedule so you have mm -hmm. to give adequate time between doses typically you give two to three weeks between doses and then you know you uh, assay uh, and find out whether immune response is developed or not so it it takes time and the phase three is an entirely different ball game mm. because phase three uh, depends upon uh, how prevalent the disease is in that population where you're testing if the disease is very infrequent, you have to let people be exposed for a longer period of time. If it is COVID, for example, as now, uh, you know, there's a lot of infection going around. Again, if you're testing today in Delhi or Mumbai, where a lot of infection, you would, you know, get it would take lesser time to for people to get exposed compared to if you were doing the same thing in Kerala. Hmm. or if you were doing it in Arunachal Pradesh where there's very little infection. Correct. So it depends. It depends on the context. Okay. Okay. So the ICMR has also asked the 12 clinical trial sites to start subject recruitment uh, from tomorrow onwards. So what are the factors to be considered while recruiting the subjects for human trials? And what is the observation period for uh, them as well? So my understanding is that ICMR has been given uh, phase one and two approval hmm. by the regulator. So they would be doing phase one trial and they would look at safety of the vaccine. So as I said earlier, they would be testing the vaccine in healthy people who don't have any other 
morbidities okay. uh, and uh, you know at least give them a week or possibly hmm. two weeks to see if there are any adverse effects hmm. that would be the the, the protocol okay okay so many hospitals who are uh, uh, who are listed under this clinical trial sites have uh, flagged that uh, their ethics committee's approvals will take time what exactly is the role of ethics committee and what role does it play in all of this so ethics committee ensures that everything that you're doing to a human being or even to an animal uh, are ethical uh, so you know for example uh, you're not taking subjects who would otherwise uh, you know are not healthy for example mm. as i just said so mm. uh, you have to tell them what will be your exclusion criteria you have to tell them what will be the inclusion criteria uh, and the ethics mm. committee is an independent group at the institution which is made up of people from within the institution as well as uh, civil society members lawyers uh, on on the committee mm. who look at it from various angles and make sure that the safety of the volunteer is ensured okay okay so considering that so what is the time period that ethics committee takes for the approvals like this well i mean the ethics committee could look at it and give approval in a day hmm okay ethics committee is presented with documents it meets it discusses and decides hmm. so it could do that in a day okay okay so it it is uh, up to the ethics committee to decide whether uh, uh, the vac uh, the human trial so would be approved in a day or not uh, but then sir uh, considering this entire uh, information that uh, you have provided us uh, is the covid-19 vaccine deadline realistic since icmr is very confident about it but several expert scientists are pointing out that it is unscientific and unrealistic you know to be fair to icmr they have really withdrawn uh, uh, that i mean they have come out mm. with another uh, uh, another press release uh, mm. that says that they are simply fast tracking it mm. and it's okay to fast track as long as uh, mm. you know everything is done uh, safely and properly mm. yes i think the 15th august uh, sort of deadline was ambitious mm. uh, very ambitious uh maybe bordering on the impossible uh right. but they have uh, they have gone back from it and even bharat biotech is on record to say that hmm. it will take time so they are Sorry. proceeding quickly but one expects that uh, everything will be done safely and hmm. properly hmm. the icmr in its uh, letter that it wrote in its defense uh, said that india's uh, best medical professionals and research scientists should not be second guessed for their professionalism or adherence to the highest scientific rigor now how would you react to that considering that you are also working in the field of science i mean questioning uh, is uh, what uh, the science thrives on well all i have to say is that unlike religion which is based on a system on a culture of belief science is based on a culture of doubt and questioning uh, so when one questions one doesn't question with bad intent one questions to understand mm. and we must all respect that mm. correct do you think sir uh, when the icmr came out with the first press release could that entire confusion would have been uh avoided if the icmr would have been specific in stating that it was just fast tracking the trials and to cut the red tapeism what it said in the defense letter i guess so uh, but hindsight is always 2020 isn't it correct well okay so that brings us to the end of the interview thank you so much sir, for joining us on this interview well as thank you me. all know now you also know what exactly is the procedure for vaccine development and vaccine launch so you might have also cleared the doubts that you might have about the icmr move thank you so much sir thank you now be the first to know about the latest updates on our new news app go on your android or ios search for hw news network download our app choose the language you prefer to get updates in and be up to date with the latest news